I have an exciting new career. I spent 15 years as an antique dealer. I was my own boss, travelled all round the UK. I even got on Bargain Hunt. Tim Wanacott said I had an eclectic mix. Check out six, please. Then coronavirus came along. Oi, there's a queue. I'm 60, but I don't get me pension till I'm 66. Sylvia, there's no barcode on these condoms. Not even a bus pass. I get free prescriptions, so I'm looking forward to being sick. Have you got proof you're old enough to buy that gin? I don't care if it's for your nana. The middle school uniform's a dead giveaway pet. I started off happy to help. On a four-week contract? Oh, they'll keep us forever, they said. But then head office had to let us go, blah, blah. Not selling enough toilet rolls anymore. No, buy one, get one free does not mean you buy your cucumber and you get your four cans of special brew for free. Then I went to feeding the nation on a four-week contract. I'm still there five months down the line and loving it. You see all sorts here. Eh, no, you can't just pinch a little bag. You can pay 30 pence for a bag for life. I don't care if you're 83. You still pay 30 pence. It's the life of the bag, not yours. Mind you, it's winter and I still haven't got my uniform jacket. I did get a badge saying that I was a key worker and I'd worked all through the COVID pandemic. But that badge doesn't keep us warm. I just get pneumonia instead. I don't care how they do it in Waitrose. You pay for your coffee here. We we'll wear masks now. So you can mutter what you really think and customers haven't got a clue. You could have told me that you dropped the packet of reduced squid and it was leaking, madam. I now smell like a Tomcat's todger. Customers say, hello, Leslie. And I can't remember if I know them or if they've just read me name badge. I do smile in case I'm related to them. We all swapped name badges the other day. I was Keith and me mate Scotty on the cafe was Sharon all day. Nobody noticed. So little Johnny didn't mean to hide the gobstoppers in his pocket. Santa doesn't come to fibbers, Johnny. Thieving snotty nosed twat. It's half past three. School kids will be in soon. Check the shelves for half drunk cans of Red Bull and empty Kit Kat wrappers. Thieving little bastards. Yes, Mr. Thompson, of course I believe you that the seven bottles of sherry and the tenor lady are for your neighbour. They all ask the same questions. Have you been busy? Are you finished soon? Are curly whirlies getting smaller? No, we don't sell inflatable bananas, madam. It's not supermarket sweep. Then there's the nice old chap who comes in at the same time every day for the whoopsies. No, that's not what posh people in Darris Hall call diarrhoea. We reduce the fresh stuff at 7pm. What on earth is a pensioner going to do with eight vegan quiches, two pounds apiece pudding and a pomegranate smoothie? You'd probably get a dose of the whoopsies. Oh, please don't take off your mask and lick your fingers to count out your fivers. A customer complained that ten years ago he could get fags, bread, beer and milk with just a fiver in his pocket. I said we didn't have the CCTV back then to catch him shoplifting. No, Mrs Binge, you can't have NHS discount just because your Chantel once went out with Kevin who used to clean the morgue at the RVI. They come in ten minutes before we close and do a week's shop. Then they wonder why it's quiet and a bit dark by the time they get to the checkout. It's because we bloody closed twenty minutes ago. No, sir. The loyalty card does not entitle you to a personal shopper. The anusol is on aisle five. Bottom shelf. So, I've swapped me antiques business for the beep beep of a shop till... Other supermarkets are available, but this is more than just a job. Goody, break time. I need a pee. Can you not see me red lights on? I'm going for a piss. <laughs>